And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video we've got a few bits and pieces to discuss. Of course, we're going to be going through that Jordan Henderson interview and going through a few bits and pieces through uh, regards to that. We'll also go through the huge Liverpool twist, Amit ongoing £80 million project, uh, whilst also going through a few other bits and pieces within the Liverpool camp. As you can tell, it is the international break, but things are still um, being reported within the Liverpool space, so still lots of things to discuss and talk about. So let's start with Hendo. Um, in fact, actually, let's start with Salah. Um, so obviously Sky Sports still pushing the agenda. Of course, the Al had are returning back to the table uh, before Thursday's deadline in Saudi Arabia um, for a new move of around £200 million that's being reported up until. Um, again, Liverpool still remain uh, strong in their stance that they do not want to sell the player, despite reports stating that they may be tempted. I don't see for any reason uh, whatsoever that uh, Mo Salah will be a player in Saudi Arabia uh, this season. I think maybe, yes, Liverpool could sell next summer, but this summer I don't see it, and I do feel um, Mo will be a Liverpool player come the end of the Saudi Pro League transfer window. So I don't have any worries about that. Uh, but as I said, a lot of sources are still stating that Al Hittahad are going to test Liverpool's resolve uh, between now and Thursday, or Thursday by midnight when their window closes. But let's see, I think it's going to be... Um, Nothing really in it. Uh, yes, they might submit a bid, but I don't think Liverpool are going to accept it. Now, with regards to other stuff, guys, of course, Jordan Henderson has came out and spoke about a few bits and pieces. Um, of course, made the move, ended his 12-year stay on Merseyside in the summer as he joined uh, the Saudi Pro League with Al Etifak and Steven Gerrard. Uh, basically, um, since returning back uh, for international from international duty, um, for, somehow he's in the England team <laughs> uh, from playing out in the Saudi Pro League. But yeah, he's in the uh, England setup. And upon returning back for international duty, um, he's had an interview with the Athletic, an unfiltered interview, um, and basically came clean as to why he left and basically said it wasn't money motivated. It was all about the sort of footballing project. It was all about the sporting project at hand and, and all the rest of it. So it had no nothing to do with money, apparently. Um, apparently, Stephen Gerrard never mentioned a penny when sort of in negotiations. He also stated that he felt like no one at Liverpool wanted to have him around. And if that one person had asked him to stay, then he would have stayed at Liverpool. Um, and also went on to say that Jurgen Klopp had a conversation with him stating that his game time would be limited also. So he did say it was more of a footballing reason uh, that he wanted to leave. And he wouldn't have went to another Premier League club because he wanted to play week in and week out and not come on off of the bench. So felt Al Fatifak, Al Fatifak would have been the best option for him in this stage of his career. Obviously, the move got a lot of controversies from the LGBT thing, um, and basically, uh, he basically reaffirmed that he still is an advocate for them, um, and basically stated that um, he was trying to continue to push the message whilst out in Saudi Arabia. Um, I mean, I don't know how well that's going to go down in that country, but um, yeah, he still says, you know, he's apologised for people that he may have hurt. Um, however, doesn't regret the move and does think it's the best move for him and his family. So yeah, Liverpool fans not buying or fans in general not buying the uh, <clears throat> the reasons as to why he's left and do think it's more money motivated and I don't think it's a shame to to admit that really you know every player is going out to Saudi Pro League it isn't uh, just it isn't just playing style is it it's not going out there for uh, for a holiday and a change of lifestyle for the better it's you know it's definitely money you know tax free cash um, and I don't think you should be afraid to admit that you know um, but yeah his interview is coming under a lot of criticism from Liverpool fans and uh, not just Liverpool fans fans in general um, just stating that it's full of BS uh, to put it politely but yeah in regards to that I have no qualms with people moving for money whatsoever and to be fair 33 year old you could take the opportunities you definitely should so uh, but just come come out and say it just come out and say that that's the reason but um yeah that's whatever everything with regards to hendo now there's other news with regards to the stadium this is where the twist happens that a couple of weeks ago we did report to you that buckingham the contractors that were working on the group had went into administration and basically work has been stopped on the anfield grown stand for the last sort of two weeks due to it uh, they've not been having any staff no staff showing up to work and all of the rest of it and basically their sort of situation has been 
finalised. They're not coming back to, to work um, and they're done. The company is done. So Liverpool are, of course, now looking to progress with the further construction of the Anfield Road stand um, after regaining control of the site from the collapse contractor. It takes a bit of time to regain that control. Um, and as I said, it has been confirmed today on Tuesday um, that... Um, that the Stowe based company have fallen into administration, uh, resulting in the loss of 500 jobs, which is not great to see in general. However, Liverpool have got the rights back to the, the, the site again and are looking to try and get things going again, back on the, or back on the stand and get things moving again uh, with regards to, to building it. Um, however, there has been no final decision made just yet. However, it could resume as of early today. So uh, Liverpool are looking to try and move very, very quickly despite what's happened with the sort of Buckingham group they really really want to get this Anfield Rome stand finished now of course there has been two weeks of no work and delay there was obviously a, um, a date penciled in for the, the Merseyside derby where we would see the full new 61,000 capacity stadium there however it doesn't look like that will be the case due to well um, I mean, there's been two week delay already and this thing has just been constantly setback after setback after setback. So I probably would hedge my bets and say that it won't be ready for that Merseyside derby. I don't think. I think we'll just have that reduced capacity like it has been in the last two home games of um, the, the top stands not available um, and they're just being going to be played like that for the rest of, for, for probably until the end of the year, I'd even go as far to say. I don't know, maybe just for the two-week delay, but just with all this kerfuffle, maybe it might be ready for November. Uh, Billy Hogan said that they want to get it done by October, but again, you're just going to see more delays and more delays happen. Um, so I wouldn't get your hopes up just yet for Phoenix seeing a full house at Anfield just yet until the end of the year. Maybe just say to the end of the year to yourself um, uh, before it actually happens. But, you know, probably closer to November now rather than that Merseyside derby. So yeah, big news on that front. Um, and again, um, as I say, my thoughts are with the people that lost their jobs. 500 people with that group, not nice to see, especially in these times that we're living in. Um, but yeah, hopefully Liverpool can uh, get that stand finished as soon as possible. And of course, it brings more commercial revenue in. And as, as more importantly, more of you guys can go and see some games because I think we're in for a really decent season. So you want to see as much games as possible. But Liverpool fans, that's all I've really got for you today. Do let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below with regards to the Anfield Road stand. Do let me know your thoughts with regards to Jordan Henderson's interview. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, hit that like button, subscribe. We're so close to our goal of 50,000. Uh, the support's been amazing over the last sort of couple of weeks, couple of months. Um, so yeah, only 250 away. So if you haven't already hit the red red button yet, please consider doing so. And in return, I'll keep you on the straight and narrow with everything with regards to Liverpool Football Club this season. Thank you guys. We'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.